okay so if you are interested in ways that you can make more money with your sales if you're say getting no orders or you got one order two order and you want to know how to maximize it be sure to watch this video all the way through so you don't Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Y'all should already know who it is or you should know who it is, the CEO of I Taste, and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't be a lurker. And if you're not new, welcome back. Y'all, I'm so sad that my camera battery is dead and I don't have my charger. I was just recording content, so I still have on my robe. This robe is from Amazon, will be linked down below if you're interested on my storefront. But we're gonna get straight into it, okay? So in this video, we are going to be discussing how I made over $1,000 in one day which was yesterday okay so if you are interested in ways that you can make more money with your sales if you're say getting no orders or you got one order two order and you want to know how to maximize it be sure to watch this video all the way through so you don't miss my tips give this video a like leave me a comment so i know that you're rocking with this kind of content and i can continue to upload more of it so first things first Making a thousand dollars in a day, of course, I've seen days where I've made way more than that, and I've also seen days where I've made way less than that. Okay, every day is not the same day being an entrepreneur, we do not make the same amount of money every day, but you can still push yourself to strive, you know, to make the most out of the day, to make X amount of dollars, set you know, financial goals, order goals, or whatever goals you want for your business, you need to be setting them every single day. Okay, so yesterday. I woke up, I probably had, I want to say like $30 worth of orders because I do sometimes run a $5 ebook promotion where a lot of my business ebooks are on sale for $5. So I had a lot of those sales coming through. And then I was like, you know what? My fourth vending machine is about to go on a location. Let me do a promotion on that. So you kind of like... I, I I don't know how to explain it, but when it comes to your business, you got to be creative. It's no, It's not really no set set in stone, oh, I'm only going to have sales one time a month. I'm only going to have sales X amount of times a month. Like, I hate when entrepreneurs try to say having too many sales is a bad thing. At the end of the day, it's your business. If you want to have as many sales as you want to have, girl, have those sales. Like, of course, you don't want to overdo it because I know even with myself, for the month of June last year, I had tried to have a sale every single day, y'all, and even I got tired. I'm sure my customers was tired. I was tired because as the days went on, as the days went on, I wasn't getting as much orders and it was on different things. Because on one day I would do lashes, the next day lip gloss, the next day this, the next day that. Like I tried to switch up every day with a different product or a different percent or free shipping. And even I got tired like, okay, this is draining. And mid-June, I just stopped it and waited until my actual birthday to do a big, big sale. But having sales every day, now that's excessive. Okay, that's very excessive. But... Having sales every now and then every two weeks is not a bad thing. So first things first, what I want to get into is posting. Because being an entrepreneur myself, I've been an entrepreneur for almost four years, being a business owner, running an online, successful online business. And I mentor people, I help people, I do phone calls with other entrepreneurs for the past few years. And one common thing that I always hear is people saying, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm posting. First of all, of course you want to be consistent. Of course you want to post every day, but it's not about posting every day. You could post five times a day and what you're posting is trash. Like it's so much that comes with marketing your business. And I do have a marketing ebook on my website, so I'm not going to touch too much on it because people have been copying it and that wouldn't be fair to those that actually are invested in spending money on what I have to say. So if you are interested in that, my website link is in the description box. But before you can worry about getting orders, you need to know how to market your business. I tell y'all this all the time, anybody can start a business. Anybody can go on Alibaba and order inventory. Hey, anybody can go on my website. Anybody can watch this video, click the link in the description box, order wholesale from me and start a business. The, the problem is how you're going to sell those products. You need to know how to market your products. And a major part of that is understanding your target audience. And I feel like this is where the issue lies with a lot of entrepreneurs because they try to copy other businesses 
and those businesses what they're posting is pertaining to their audience not to yours so now you're trying to copy what they're doing and your audience is not fitting with that type of content and that's why you're not seeing results that's why you're not seeing engagement and that's why you're not seeing orders me for example yes i give you guys tips and information but at the end of the day i'm a wholesaler i'm not a retailer i'm a wholesaler and even if you're watching this video and you are a wholesaler if you try to copy what I'm doing, you're still not going to get the same results as me. You're not. Like, you're not, you're not going to get the same results as me, okay? So, you need to understand your target audience. You need to post, you need to think as a, your target audience. If your target audience is kids, you need to think. Which, of course, that's kind of different because kids are not on social media, some of them. But that's just an example. If your target audience is kids or if your target audience is girly girls or you sell, say, only pink stuff, only girly stuff, you need to know how you're going to market that to make people want to purchase. So when it comes to creating your content, you need to know how you're going to, you know, how you're going to draw people in to where they're going to comment and engage, to where they're going to share this post, which will boost your engagement, to where it can possibly go viral and you will get orders from it. I was in sales yesterday. Of course, a majority of those were digital products, but I know how to market my products. The major product, the top seller, what was being purchased yesterday was my vending machine vendor. I have vending machines. I sell my personal vendor for anybody who's interested in getting a vending machine. I also have a video series on my website that I talk about the vending machine industry, my experiences, what you need to know, and all of that in that. So, of course, if I'm going to have to post content that's going to make somebody interested in this. Y'all get y'all get where I'm going with this? If I'm trying to sell, uh, even if I wasn't selling my vending machine vendor, if I'm trying to sell, say, a how to start your business or the how to grow your YouTube channel, what should I be posting? If I just dropped a course on how to start and grow a YouTube channel, I need to be posting results. I need to be posting you know, content, convincing content that's going to make somebody seeing that video be like, mm, I want to start a YouTube channel. And even if they don't end up starting it, you want your content to make them want to be interested in your course. You want their, you want them to engage and ask you questions that are already covered in this. So if they say, how did you promote your channel? Check out the ebook for more information. Okay, y'all feel me? Okay, I, I hope y'all, I hope y'all really understand it. And I hope if you watch this video right now and you're right, right this second, you've already hit the like button because I'm literally putting y'all on to free information. And lately, y'all have not been liking and commenting on my videos, and that's why I kind of slow down when it comes to the free tip videos. And this is why everything is behind a paywall because. I sit here, when I do videos like this, I actually take notes and stuff to give you guys good information. My tips work. Of course, you might have to wing it pertaining to your business, but what everything I tell y'all is stuff that I actually do. I'm not a gatekeeper. So for me to sit up here and give you guys free information and you can't even hit a like button, you can't even hit a subscribe button, that's why when it comes to my vending machine, I never, I don't do videos on it. Like, I'll do a vlog. I will be vlogging when I go to my next location, but... I'm, I'm not doing those because people don't know how to engage. They want to sit here and watch the videos, but they can't even support for free. Like, they can't even support for free. So if you're watching this video all the way to this point, please leave me a like and comment. What I'm going to have y'all comment, comment the word marketing. Comment the word marketing if you watch this video all the way to right here so I know that you are actually watching my videos. But yeah, you guys, when it comes to how to make X amount of dollars in a sale, in, in sales in a day. It's all about how you market. If you're just now starting your business, of course, it takes time. You need to keep in mind that nobody knows who you are. Even if your friends and family support you, unless you're on like Etsy or Amazon where they can like promote, basically promote for you and people can search your, what they're looking for. If you have a website domain like me, www.itasty.com, Nobody is going to know who itasty.com is unless I promote it, okay? Nobody's going to know who that is. Look at Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova not only posts themselves, 
they have all these influencers and that stuff. That's investments that you might have to make. Send your products to people, pay people for things to get people to come to your web website. Like nobody's going to know who you are if you're not marketing. If you're trying to sell courses and stuff, you have to be posting results. Nobody is going to buy a how to grow your business ebook from you if you don't be posting orders. Like take pictures of your orders, you guys. I don't care if you got one order. I don't care if you got five orders. A order is an order at the end of the day. The fact that somebody, especially if it was somebody you don't know, the fact that somebody you don't know or do know took the time to go on your website and make a purchase, you need to take a picture of that. You need to take a video of that because when eventually, if you do decide to do digital courses or if you do decide to you know, do mentoring and webinars, you need that content to post. So make sure you guys are taking pictures and documenting your business journey, especially if you see yourself doing this long term. Because like I said, that's how, that's gonna be more ways you can market your business and grow your income aside from people going on your website and purchasing products. And if you haven't noticed, a lot of entrepreneurs nowadays, they're no longer selling physical products. It's now all digital. Like people start businesses, make all this money. You see their results. You see them getting this, these, these orders. Then they either transition to drop shipping where their supplier is directly shipping the stuff out so they don't even have to pack the physical orders. And they're doing courses. They're doing webinars. And they're helping other people start their businesses. So if you want to get to that point, you definitely need to record your content. If you're trying to get orders and you're struggling sales, Check out my marketing ebook. Check out my social media handbook with how I make money on all these different platforms. I don't just make money on one platform. I have, I make orders from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Pinterest. Those are the five platforms that I'm able to bring people in from. And even I'm bringing traffic from, even if they don't shop, which they, I have, I get orders from all of them, not every single day, but I'm still bringing traffic from people from these sites every single day because guess what somebody's watching my youtube video every day somebody's on my i'm posting tiktoks almost every day i'm going live i'm on instagram i'm on facebook i'm everywhere promoting and marketing my business to maximize the amount of orders i get so if you enjoyed this video be sure to comment down below like this video check out my ebooks and i will see y'all on the next video